nation volunteering has established its office in Vietnam and since then it boosts the community outreach, the movement, the volunteering movement further. And uh, coming to Vietnam, uh, first of all, we can see that the, according to the Phong uh, News, the community service of voluntary activities in Vietnam are mainly from two main organizers. This is the community, Communist Youth Union and the non-profitable organization. Um, and also from this source, uh, in high school and university in Vietnam, most of the community service are optional for students and the student can volunteer to take part in those activities. Um, Moving on, that since the year of 2000, the Central Committee of Youth Union uh, has launched the Youth Volunteer Movement as a, on a national scale annually. And we can see that there are certain campaigns are held with chains of events every year, such as the Tham Thanh Niên or Chiến Dịch Tình Nguyện Hè. Uh, you might find familiar with all of us because this was held annually. And you last five more minutes. Thank you. Uh, and last but not least is that based on the characteristic or the method and the scope of the of the study, not of the program and the campaign, the community service can be divided into five different groups. Uh, to name is as to support the disadvantaged and unfortunate community to stabilize the community lives and social order to support the community in emergency situation to protect the environment and to propagandize this information is taken from uh, South of Thailand News in 2015 and uh, we as a representative of the advocacy team we would like to support. We found it that the community service are beneficial when it is a requirement in the school curriculum. Thank you. Uh, in terms of uh, five different arguments, first of all is educational value. Secondly, secondly is the orientation. That is personal development and the psychological and mental health, and last but not least, is a social benefit. And I will clarify with you about the educational value. Um, as you can see, uh, this is a quote from Dr. Dottori Hyde, the president and the CEO of United States National Council of Negro Women. It, she said that without the community service, we would not have a strong quality of life. It is important to the person who serves as well as the recipient. And what I say is undeniably true uh, because it needs to begin in our educational system. And while preparing for the future, the high school is where you learn exactly what it means to be a good citizen. And a major component of being a good citizen is the interaction with your community. And one of the most common ways of involving young adults in the community activities is through voluntarism or doing the community service. And in order to truly complete the education um, in the public school system, promise the high school students should spend their time not in learning but also in volunteering and doing the social and activities like the community service for our community. And that is the end of uh, my uh, part. Uh, thank you for listening. Okay, thank you. And now, I would like to invite the first speaker on the negative team to present the arguments uh, opposing the resolution.
So on behalf of the op opposing team, I'll be the first person who gives the definition and present our first point. Now first, let's come to the definition. According to Oxford and Cambridge Dictionary, community service is work intended to help people in a particular areas and work done without payment to help others. So community service is when you work for free to help benefits um, to have benefits the public or your community. So usually students who choose to do community service uh, do so as volunteers, meaning that they choose to do it because they want, really want to do so. Uh, okay. The practice of uh, mandatory community service is almost non-existent in Vietnamese high school, which is the focus of our debate today. Yet it has been popular internationally uh, especially in the United States, where 28 out of 50 states uh, make community service compulsory in high school. Um, for example, Maryland requires students to complete 75 hours of community service before graduating, or the District of Columbia requires stu their students to complete 100 hours of volunteer community service in order to graduate. So uh, pre before presenting our first point, uh, we, uh, our group acknowledged that community service itself is beneficial and we are not going to appeal about the benefits of uh, community service. However, we are going to prove that the disadvantages of forcing uh, students to do community service outweigh its advantages. Okay, so now I will present uh, our first point. So uh, our first point is the implementation of mandatory community service. Um, is involuntary servitude and is and is against free will. So uh, doing good deeds lie in an individual will and drive to uh, help others, and enforcing it will <laughs> dilute uh, and fade that right. So first, mandating service undermines the sincerity uh, the sincerity of students. Thus, make them lose um, real interest in the project and pro perform tediously, not wholeheartedly. Um, so, according to Edward L. D. C. and Richard M. Ryan, cognitive evaluation theory done in 1985, uh, when student or any individual perceive that they be in control externally, the natural human response is to lose the, the um, enthusiasm for the project and toward the behaviors that are being promoted. Uh, uh, next, um, um, yes, and implementing social service tends to reduce voluntary, voluntary later, and this was proven by a study conducted, by, conducted in Maryland, the first, U, U, the first United, uh, the United States, first the uh, state to require mandatory community service in high school. So the report found that before the requirement was implemented in 1993, the percentage of high school students, uh, seniors in Maryland engaged in service activities was 7.8% higher than the national average. However, between 1997 and 2011, after the service requirement went into effect, the percentage was 9 to 17 lower than the national effect, which rose over the same periods. So, so the uh, well-intended activity will not be done carefully and wholeheartedly, thus do not reach the uh, uh, utmost uh, potential. Compulsory community service is not going to be effective and it fails to accomplish its initial goals, which is to give students a learning experience and a chance uh, and, a, and a chance to uh, help to, to help the community. So that is our first point. Thank you. Four minutes and sixty seconds, which is fine. Not five yet. Okay. And now I would like to invite the seventh speaker from the community team to come to and present the further arguments supporting the previous ones.
our points on the basis of uh, arguments in terms of supporting for the uh, compulsory uh, community uh, community services in Vietnam and also uh, make uh, uh, some uh, kind of rebuttal to your first point in the uh, opposite, opposite team. So first, let me uh, clarify our points on the, once again. We have uh, five points in general. In general, is educational values, orientation, personal development, health, and social benefits. So first, here our first speaker has clarified the first point in the educational values. We emphasize on the importance of uh, being a good citizen is a uh, state of interaction with interaction with uh, your community. So now we move to the second part. Uh, the first speaker of the uh, opposite team has tried to tell you that uh, with, uh, when you will make the community service become mandatory, it will, will the students involved in the process will lose its sincerity and then lose the interest in the further projects. But we have found that well, when the school has the information and uh, uh, also serve as a, like a orientator or like a guideline for students to um, do uh, to do community services work, so it then push them further from their comfort zone because one the nature of the students is to procrastinate and they tend to just stay or do the activity that it means only meet the requirement of school. But with, when you uh, make the community services become mandatory, it will uh, serve as like a, a push up that push them further uh, to uh, let them really reach the community. And, uh, and uh, our third point is that uh, it also helps a lot in the personal development of the students. Because uh, community services provide students with preparation for the future in many aspects. So first is the development of transferable, transferable skills, which will help them in their, their future career as well as their college choice. Uh, for example, in critical thinking, problem solving, and leadership. Because when doing community services, they get the chance to really have hands-on experience on uh, the problems in real world. They will get more uh, insightful and will uh, know uh, more about problems that go around them in the real world and uh, get uh, and achieve a perspective of an insider. So that will help them to uh, uh, develop the critical thinking, problem solving, and leadership, which will be uh, more, uh, uh, all these skills are all vital for all the employer uh, that the people that uh, anticipate from students in the future. Secondly, is uh, networking. The doing community services will help the, the not only to uh, uh, connect, uh, uh, connect and enrich their lives with the people in that uh, in the, the re recipients in the community, but also with people from the of higher power, like the leader of uh, organizations or even potential or employer for their future career. So that is a good chance for them to networking. And thirdly, it is it, uh, uh, helping to diversify the uh, uh, application to colleges or the curriculum detail for the future job. Because all the, uh, the college administration as well as the uh, employer from uh, organizations and corporations also highly value the, uh, uh, the level of participation in community services. And finally, it's, uh, it helps create a sense of duty among students because they know that they can, um, the, the, the action can make impact on the community and like uh, it all, for both benefits for both of the uh, server as well as the recipients so they can boost their self-esteem as well as uh, help them to uh, get some sense of, the, of their duty, their own duty uh, as a citizen in the future. And our fourth point is uh, not only uh, serve as a stepping stone for uh, students in their uh, future life, it also benefits for uh, the students' health, both in mentally and physically, uh, mental and physical as respect. Because according to researchers from uh, London School of Economics and Political Science, 
They found a link between self-reported lack of good health and happiness and formal volunteer work. So that means that volunteer work has good the, mental, the general mental health of the in students. And also a study by United Health Group say that 76% of people who have volunteered in the past 12 months say that volunteer has made them feel happier. And 94% of them report that it improves their mood. So that means that it will improve the mental health in general. And also the community services also involve some physical activities like cleaning the environment or like repainting the, the walls. So it also uh, help to um, like uh, to improve your physical health in the, uh, in general. And our final point is the social benefits because doing community services is not only benefits for the students but also benefits for the uh, recipients in the uh, community. Uh, let's take an example when there's a natural disaster in uh, some. Uh, remote regions in Vietnam, like uh, in the uh, middle, but in the middle or in mountainous areas, the help of uh, community services, especially the students, when provide um, necessary life supplies or like, provide uh, education to that region, will uh, also improve the general well-being of that region, and uh, it, it also um, like a work that benefits for the community as well. So that basically our. Um, uh, five main points for the community team. So, thank you. Uh, seven minutes. And now I would like to invite the Senate Speaker on the initiative to come presenting their further arguments against the resolution. You have at least five minutes and ten minutes maximum. And today, uh, and before I uh, present our second argument, I would like to mention once again that our group, do, uh, our group acknowledge that community service has uh, obvious benefits. Therefore, we wouldn't argue about the benefits of community service. However, we want to prove that uh, the disadvantage of forced community service outweighs its advantages. Now moving on to our second argument, our group believe that mandatory public service creates uh, additional burden on our students. While well, high school students do not have the time, the mental and the physical capacity to participate in such activity because they simply have already have too much on their plate. Now let's look at the current situation that students uh, also have to attend several extra classes to prepare themselves for the university entrance exam, which is very stressful and demanding on its own. This issue has been, uh, has put a lot of pressure on students and it has been an alarming problem concerning Vietnamese education for several years, yet there has not been uh, any effective measures to alleviate the situation. Well, since our students' uh, schedule, are, studying schedule are so intense, uh, mandatory public service are supposed to take place during their free time. However, student free times uh, should be preoccupied with uh, many, with uh, entertainment relaxation with families and friends or even clubs, extracurricular activities and uh, hobbies which play an essential role in their well-rounded development. And if students are forced to take part in community service, the such precious personal time which uh, acts as they break from their mentally and physically exhausting week will be taken away from them. Therefore, they might be put under even more stress as they not only lack the time to heal and, and um, recharge themselves, but also have to uh, take part and have to engage in the activities that they are not personally and genuinely interested in. And more importantly, it will take away the, uh, the time that is supposed to be spent on their own choice of social projects 
which serve the causes that they are really passionate about. Furthermore, compulsory public uh, service in high school could mean that students are expected to meet certain requirements uh, of, uh, pu of uh, public working in order to uh, graduate and take part in the, in the university entrance exam, which is um, quite unfair because, let, for example, a competent students who invest a significant amount of time and efforts into study and therefore is able to keep up its good grade should not be penalized or prevented from uh, graduation and higher education just because he cannot allocate enough time into, into his uh, social services. So in conclusion, what right, we are trying to say is um, high school students have already been put under considerable amount of pressure uh, until the situation is uh, properly and thoroughly addressed and uh, resolved, uh, community service should not be implemented as they would become a, an additional, uh, additional source of pressure on uh, students. Thank you. Thank you. Six minutes so far. And now we come to the Q&A sections. So you have from five uh, you have exactly five minutes for this section. Both teams have the chances to exchange the questions to clarify any unclear points or terms. So if you do have any questions, just raise your hand and say P O I. So five minutes. So I give each team two minutes for this discussion before we move on to the Q and A sections. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we noticed that uh, even though 
the definition of community service and uh, the volunteering are separated because of its basis, but uh, in uh, reality, we see that the terms can somehow be uh, like interchangeable. And uh, also, like as I mentioned in the my in my part, that in Vietnam the community service are mainly voluntary. So uh, when we mention the community service, uh, it can be said that is a, like a voluntary activity of the student. So uh, this, when searching for the information, we also find and we also collect the information about both community service and volunteer as well, as long as it can uh, support our army. Thank you. Four minutes left. Uh, then one to ask you, uh, what is the definition of volunteer? If you, if you, for, volunteer, I mean, if you have, uh, at first, uh, define it, define community service as for the voluntary, then there is no point in waiting here today because it is about making it compulsory. It, it means that it's, it is against the will of the students. Can I answer that question? Yes, of course. Uh, so what I need to clarify, that community service is the definition based on the recipient of the action. While voluntary service, uh, voluntary work or voluntary service, we, is based on the basis of uh, the nature of the work itself, whether or not it's voluntary or involuntary. But in the context of Vietnam, because, um, okay, let's, uh, let's take some uh, example in the outside Vietnam uh, for the background information. Uh, in the US, we have the term community service for people who commit, uh, commit crime first offense and they have to do uh, community, community service, whether it's uh, paying houses or like pick up trash for the uh, highway. So that is how uh, compulsory or in a way, um, uh, how to say, uh, forced community service. But when you take the uh, community service uh, definition back to Vietnam, since most of the, uh, most of the action of community service, service in Vietnam does not uh, include uh, that type of nature from outside, so most of, most of them are voluntary. And also in his speech, he used most of this statistic in the fact that uh, it is a voluntary community service because most of the example is in Vietnam. Okay, is that, uh, does that clarify your point? Okay, yeah, I got it. Okay, uh, okay so excuse me, and now that's the term, um, uh, the, the term for the affirmative team to raise all questions. We have two minutes left. You have been asking two questions so far. <laughs> So if you do not have any questions, so you can elaborate on your point. <coughs> you have yet to have any questions. Okay, so the question is dedicated to Miss T. Okay, we have two minutes left. I have a question for you. Um, in your speech, Kulong, you said that um, students should, should spend time on other things like health, sports, and extracurriculum activities. So I wonder, okay, I wonder if um, community service is considered one part of the extracurricular activities for the students. Can you clarify your like scope? I believe that uh, voluntary community service can be considered extracurricular, extracurricular activity. However, uh, involuntary or forced community service cannot be considered one of those activities. So how would you define extracurricular activities? Uh, to, to us, extracurricular activity is um, the city. Yeah. 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 So, in our group's belief that uh, we believe that um, yes, of course, community service can be can be viewed as something for you to uh, yes um, gain health and the other extra benefits that you have just mentioned. However, the point here is voluntary or involuntary. For example, if the community services that the school chose for you is not up to your interest, but you have other interests. In sports, for example, we, uh, we also give you um, benefits in terms of health, 
in terms of man, both physical and mental and um, and also networking, team working skills, leadership skills, all these benefits can be found in other fields which suits your interests, not just community services that the school designed for you. So and you have to do it. To sum up, you mean extracurriculum activities are those you willing you're willing to choose to do, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And time's up. Any questions for the negative team from the affirmative one? So I say no questions so far. Mm -hmm. We move on to the rebuttal session. And the first rebuttal from the negative team will be presented by Nitlan Duong. Mm -hmm. You have three to five minutes. Your st uh, time starts now. Yeah. So I'm the first one to rebut your viewpoint. And uh, I want to make to point out that uh, in your feed, you had used some um, evidence like volunteer from voluntary community service to support the argument of forced or mandatory community service. And I believe that this is, can be considered uh, unreliable because, yeah, the, the different nature. And secondly, uh, uh, when yeah, you mentioned that it, it can be a plus point in CV for those who participate in uh, the community services. However, when everyone, you know, it, it, it is forced, it is mandatory, so it means that every, every student will participate in this, and it means that it's, it's now no longer be a plus four because everyone, yeah, everyone had it in the CV. Okay, and again, I want to say that, um, as, in, as emphasized in both of our, our, country, our, our, our talks, we strongly acknowledge the benefits of doing community service. However, however uh, it doesn't mean that doing community service is the only way for students to you know, apply on the benefits like leadership skill of, of teamwork because there are many, many other ways like uh, participating in clubs, organizations, or other activities. However, I want to point out the difference here is that while the benefits are, are like basically the same, the student here can have the chance, the matter is the choice, the student here can have the chance to choose uh, the activities they have genuine interest about, they're passionate about, and that meet their needs or meet their purpose, their goals. And however, uh, if, they want, yeah, if they want to do community service, of course they can go for it, but this time this is their choice. Okay, and also you said that making community service can be a necessary push that uh, brings student awareness about the community problems. However, I think it's not really the case because uh, it depends a lot on whether the student takes the activity seriously or not. And if being forced, uh, I believe that uh, yeah, there will be the possibility that some students will dislike work and therefore they will do it not unwholeheartedly and this would turn out to be more harm than good because some, yeah, a lot of people who organize activities have mentioned that uh, those who are forced to do can be a trouble to deal with and they can even hinder the other students and those who truly want to do activities uh, from their heart. And besides, it being required organized by school to participate in certain services, uh, I think that it will take away the student chance to come up with their own versions, with their own ideas of the activities, and it can limit the yeah the creativity and opportunity to figure out the solutions for the way. Okay, so that's very good. Thank you. And now we move on to uh, a rebuttal from the opposing uh, opposing team. Uh, the, the advocate team. Okay, so good afternoon, um, the uh, um, Madam Chairman, uh, teachers, and all the students here today. Uh, on behalf of the uh, uh, formative team, I'm going to give our first rebuttal. So the first speaker, uh, Miss Tuin from the uh, negative team, tried to tell you that um, because uh, the students are forced to do community service, so it will undermine their uh, sincerities and makes them lose their interest in helping other people. And by, and by the way, they will um, how say, uh, do not uh, uh, carefully uh, do community service and then the community service, do not, the activities do not achieve their expected goals. However, our team do, uh, do acknowledge that 
it is the way we in implement the uh, activities that that matters. Because if we combine the learning goals and the um, and uh, the um, community service in a way that we call service learning, it is a chance for students to learn uh, through uh, learn learning by doing and through social activities. And um, and I will take example from the cases of the Chicago Public High School in in the USA. They have successfully um, uh, applied um, uh, the uh, community service by uh, giving the student the autonomy to decide what they want to do to help the communities and the, the school authorities and also the teachers. They um, um, uh, recognize the student projects and help them reflect on what they uh, have been doing and by that way the students are motivate, and they motivate and also they, give, they are given the chances to actually experience um, uh, the activities and I, I would also believe that even if the uh, community service is half-heartedly, it is the outcome of the work that doesn't matter. And um, uh, like we can have an examples like when we first go to school, we have um, we um, are asked to do the homework by the teachers. Actually, we are not do not volunteer to do it, but because um, uh, we are not volunteer to do it. But the teachers, they see the values of practicing, of doing homework, so they force us to do it. And by, by giving us the chance to actually uh, practice uh, our ex uh, and doing exercises, we realize the, uh, the benefits that we can gain from doing homework. So, uh, so um, that is what I want to say, because not many high school students can recognize the benefits that community service um, can bring to them. So, by uh, making it uh, mandatory, the teachers are actually give them a chance to exper experience um, uh, these, these real, uh, real activities, and uh, we call it uh, exp experimental learnings, um, and we value the uh, results and also the benefits we can gain. Uh, it is our uh, first uh, report post. Thank you for listening. Go on. <laughs> okay, and now uh, the, we move on to the second rebuttal from the opposing team, presented by Hai. Hey, so uh, my name is Hai, and as a second person to rebut the affirmative argument, I would love to give reasons why we are persistent in community services despite all the well perceived uh, advantages should not be a compulsory part of the curriculum. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, first of all, um, we want to, um, I, I want to, uh, I want to give reasons why we believe so, and also, um, um, by giving reasons, I'm rebutting her as well. So, uh, first, <laughs> if you look at the assessing uh, system, if you make it a part, a compulsory part of the curriculum, there must be a ruler for assessment. You have to make it like fail or pass, right? Uh, right? So here comes the question. If you make it a subject at school, will students perceive it as a something that aids the sex of the community? Or it's just another homework for them to do that is needed for their graduation? And that is the first question. And if you, if they do it not because of their of their will, then the initial aim of a community service will give students an enjoyable learning experience and also help the community. That purpose will fail. And the second reason, we believe that it should not be compulsory is that students have the right to follow their preferences, to what they feel right with their personal development and what they want to do outside the classroom. So I would take, um, like you have just said about the benefits, there are many other alternatives for students to do. For example, soccer, I have just mentioned, or another musical instruments, or when they participate in a club where people share the uh, common interests, they still learn ne networking, they still learn about leadership, they still learn about um, team working, and also, soccer can teach them resilience as well, a system also in mental and physical health. So, but the biggest difference between involuntary community service 
and all the alternatives is that they are willing to do so and they are passionate about doing it and they will gain the biggest benefits from it. And the third reason why I believe that it should not be compulsory is that <coughs> these kind of activities are most valuable when students have the chance to plan every detail of the project, when, such as making contact with people in the local communities to set things up, or when they have to um, um, learn how to hide the facilities that is needed for the activities. And all these small details count and it matters. But when these activities are organized and, um, and uh, forced by schools, it takes away the room for them to invent and think and create their own versions of activities and events and services of their interest. It takes away their, uh, their chance to uh, utilize their mind, their uh, creativity, um, to, um, to come up with and design uh, uh, activities that fix the existing problems in the local communities and, um, and figuring ways to make things better. And for Japan, you said that Yes, community service and service learning. And as a person who has to rebut you, I have to <laughs> I have to differentiate between community service and service learning. They are not the same thing. Community service is when a student or an organization or club decide to um, do things, <coughs> for example, on the weekdays to help the communities and the experience is not related to course curriculum and the school and the teachers are not involved in planning, organizing or um, supervising. And in service learning program, students will have to prepare the experience by studying the ecology and environment of the area and determining a real community need. So it is different between an organized um, and a designed school course versus a service learning program where students have to do everything at the start for their own. And before I, how many times uh, uh, I left? Uh, um, uh, 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. in short, forcing students to do community stuff is just going to be another real feel good policy uh, if you only look at it benefits. But if you put it in the context of Vietnam and high school students and compulsory, it's, it, it does the uh, disadvantages of forcing it will outweigh the advantages. Thank yes. you. Thank exactly you. Exactly five minutes. And now we move on to uh, the, the second uh, rebuttal from uh, the affirmative presented by Tom. So your time starts now. You have only three minutes. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm the second speaker uh, in the rebuttal team for the alternative team. And uh, I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to uh, rebut the point of Lampung and at that time I'll rebut the point of Hai as well. So Lampung, I think that you have stated that um hosting uh, community hosting community service on students will be an additional burden as well as will uh, pro hinder them from other extracurricular activities and entertainment activities, thus uh, preventing them from being a well-rounded student, right? So uh, firstly, I would like to tackle the additional burden part. So as you can see from our statistic, uh, our students only have to do an average of 40 hours in their entire uh, three years or four years of high school uh, as a part of the mandatory community service. If you do the math, then that means uh, 40 uh, hours of divided to 365 days in four or three years. That would be around 2.2 to 2.7 minutes per day. So actually, if students can go on their lab, can go on a four-hour lecture, there's no reason why they cannot spend 2.2 to 2.7 minutes per day for community service. So that's my first point of that. And the second thing is that if uh, if you have made the point that students not only have to go on to lecture but also have additional assignments as a uh, school that prevent them from doing community service, then the problem lies within our own education. That means that our own education has caused too much uh, pressure and too much work onto the students that prevent them from doing other activities that not only benefit the society but also may be a part of their own patterns and their own uh, life. Uh, so, okay, so uh, also I would like to 
to uh, say about the um, preference part in uh, Ha Eng, right? Uh, you said that um, other activities such as sports or may uh, also serve the same purpose as a uh, voluntary service. However, I would like to differ on this part that community service also foster a sense of community as well foster altruism within the students. And the purpose of education is not just to create good grades, not to get a good occupation, but also to be a functional part of the greater society as well. And that's the importance of making community service mandatory. It's the importance of our own education. So, uh, how many minutes do I have? Uh, 30 seconds. Oh, 10 okay, seconds. So, 10 seconds. Okay, so, and I will also like to tackle the uh, of importance of preference and free will. So it matter here is the problem of implementation. Implementation here means that the schools may be able to uh, open up the scope of the community service uh, and be able to listen to the students' uh, opinion about what kind of community service would be the most uh, interesting for them and would also allow them to be uh, a part of their own community. Okay. So that's it for my point. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> so now we come to the uh, the summary for the whole debate. Uh, the to Lund. So you have two two minutes and forty seconds because the other time. Yes, because um, uh, Miss Hai Chi um, uh, does the summary have to be in uh, chronological form or in logical form? Logical form. Okay. Uh, so, okay, so, hey, as the uh, final person of my team, of the uh, authority team to summarize it, uh, I will summarize our uh, the whole argument in a logical way, so you can easily catch up. So first of all, uh, my uh, the, the first speaker from our team is uh, Mr. Hugh. Uh, you have uh, pointed out the definition between community service. I uh, uh, have pointed out the definition of a community service, which is uh, work uh, through uh, formal informal consultation with non-profit uh, government and community-based organization to do good for the community. He had also differentiated the uh, definition between community service and uh, uh, voluntary service. Uh, and uh, to the Q&A section, we have also pointed out that it's different in the nature of the definition. And also, uh, Ms. Hanchi has raised a question about the extracurricular activity which remain unsolved by, uh, uh, and yeah, uh, which is uh, answered by uh, Nan Phu. So, uh, our first and second speaker, Nguyen Minh Hiu, and Nguyen yeah, has pointed out five, uh, five, uh, five uh, points in favor of uh, community service. First of all, is the personal development, the orientation of their nature of career, the, uh, wait. Yeah. Wait, uh, the educational value, the orientation, the personal development, the uh, physical and psychological health benefit, and the social benefit. While uh, uh, Lam Phuong and Tu Yuen uh, pointed out from the beginning that uh, they acknowledge these uh, arguments in favor of the community service and only point out the uh, the fact that the disadvantages may outweigh the advantages, which include uh, the fact that this may uh, may cause to be involuntary servitude, which uh, undermines the sincerity of the uh, work itself, and uh, it limits the uh, uh, personal growth since it does not offer the uh, wide range of choice for the children. Uh, for the student, in the rebuttals, uh, there are two uh, two main arguments pointed out by. Uh, the opposing team. Uh, one the, minute left. The the first side is. I that, think uh, you can spend him more time. Okay. Um, it limits. Uh, it limits the uh, uh, the personal development. Uh, it limits the personal development of high school and children. And it does not offer the uh, free will. Uh, the free will. Uh, the sense of free will and the sense of free choice. Since this uh, this very personal growth find found in. Uh, uh, community service can be found other way, in other ways, uh, such as extracurricular activities. And uh, yeah, extracurricular activity either by joining a group or uh, doing something that they like. And uh, okay, and. Uh,